everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. Now, we're going to continue on from the last episode in which we managed to save Kay from committing suicide, and we also got the Nathan expelled, which he deserves it. And now we're going to try to start figuring out what the heck is really going on with the weather and the connection between Kate and Rachel, so let's see how this goes. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange, Whoa. called the film Little Pieces of Time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. We have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Coffee. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Here you go. And of course... It's a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely, and we're going to try to do that. Square Enix. Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Oh, we have the bunny. Kate! I wonder how different it would have been if we didn't manage to save Kate. First things first. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Let's see. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. That sucks. It's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Uh, 
Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrisy. Yeah, I mean, some of those people are probably... You really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Well. Dana's really hurting over this. Hmm. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, that's more. We're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Yeah. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hmm. Let's try this. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate? I think... True. I was lucky. No, girl. Then maybe it's time. So what exactly? You think this has... It's complicated. I'm getting scared. What? Victoria bounced... Not me. Oh. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. Alright, let's see what we can find. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for... Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Hmm. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hmm. Let's see. Just want to read this real quick. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes.
Oh boy. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Hmm. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Hmm. What's my pictures? Yeah, that's the figure I'm looking at. Still, what? What are the? Still, way I can turn off the light. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Yeah, why can I see that? There we go. There we go. Wait, is there something on my door? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Huh? Oh boy. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Hmm. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hmm. I like really do need to get some sleep, Max. Let me try something. Thanks. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. I mean, seriously, who would do that? 
I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. All right, here we go. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Hmm. I can sit. Okay, I'll step back. Oh, hang on. Oh. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Uh oh. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. There we go. Max the ninja strikes again. With time no jitsu. Whoa. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the planes. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Hmm. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Hmm. Uh. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. 
Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Hmm. Uh oh Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Why the hell would you do that? Are you fucking kidding me? How low can you go? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Now she had a blaze, you'd be known as the Keyblade Master. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted, like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Hmm. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. 
Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for me. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, let's explore around here. Oh. There we go. Sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. Okay. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Hmm. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Oh, wrong button. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Oh yeah, there was a coffee machine. Yep, and they always have sugar. Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Nothing in it. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Just emptied. Nothing here. Ah, vending machine. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. There we go. You're halfway home, Max. Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Nice. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. 
Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Eh, what's the harm that can do? I never said they were great. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Uh -huh. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Huh. There we go. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Well, I tried to. Only one more ingredient left. This is like a scene in a horror film. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Oh, Kate, even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Okay, but I thought there was someone else there. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Duct tape. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Nope. Oh. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Uh oh. Uh, one little. Uh, one little problem with that, though. An explosion like that would produce smoke. That was so fucking cool. Yeah. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I have an idea. I'm just gonna step in there and go back in time. There we go. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep 
Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Hmm. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay, let's see what we got. Hey, that bird is like the bronze hawk. You're not so tacky up close. Hmm? So cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. There we go. You're not so tacky up close. Hmm. That is the one for the photo, but let me see. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. Hmm. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Okay. Only two more files to go. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. What can I do for the photo with the bird? Look at this pile. Looks, at, to be a looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. I certainly can't use this. Tumbleweeds. Here we go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Yeah, bribery. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file.
This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Hmm. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped Dude, fund. there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Oh. Um... This is like a little moral dilemma because if that money is really for the handicap fund, like making the school more, the academy more accessible for the handicap, then it's wrong to steal. Although, with that much money paid back to Frank, he probably won't be after our butts, which I'm sure is going to happen later on. Uh mm. You know what? I'm going to do this. Because I have the option to rewind time as long as I don't leave that area. I'm going to see what happens when I pick this. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. All right. Okay, let's try this. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Mmm... 
I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Okay, hang on. Rewind again. Okay. I have on me right now a half a dollar coin. So I'm going to use that as kind of like the uh, decision maker. Max. So, heads, we take the money. Tails, we leave it. As the Joker in the Dark Knight Return said about said, at least with chaos, it's fair. So here we go. Oops. That slipped out of my hand. Okay, and it landed heads. Yeah. Hang on, can I take the picture of the crow? You're not so tacky up close. Hmm. Well, like I said, fair is fair. Fish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go, Otters. Let's see, nothing here. Boys or girls? Eh, yeah, why not? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Yeah, who knows? We might be able to find something. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Hmm. I guess I should consider this evolution. What's that say? Oh. Sometimes. Okay, let's see what we can find here. This must be for training kids. Or well, people who can't swim. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Cell phone? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Really? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Who knows? They don't seem to be helping him a lot. Really? Boys locker room is right. Hmm. 
Really? Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Hmm. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Hmm. I'm going to take a look on the girls' restroom. Or locker room. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Really? Well, we care, dickhead. Seriously, that's just wrong on so many levels. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Where does that other sock go? To Nadia. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Yeah. Or well, there may be some people who get hopping mad. Hmm, there's a necklace here. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Yeah, but does she, does she silly do a duck face? Oh. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Okay, I think that's it here for now. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Hmm. I know it's in that life like God's office there, but I want to take a look around. Oh. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Let's see. Is there any other secrets? Hello. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Now yeah, I'll give that a try. Cause I mean. Nobody knows we're here, so... Anything else around here? Nope, okay, so into the office. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Let's see. Up. Oh. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Hmm. So the big plan is win.
Oh yeah, I gotta turn on the light. There we go. Whoa, she changed quick. Whoosh. Time to do or die, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> you are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. Force of nature? nature? Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Nope. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... We're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bows all over you. Like Warren. Hmm. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and twos. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Uh oh. Hi. Oh crud. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Crap. Hide like when we were kids. Yeah. I could do 
use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Yep. Woo. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. Don't make a sound. Hello? Anybody there? Nope. Nobody here. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Serious. Mm -mm, not doing any pranks. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Mm -mm. You hear nothing. Absolutely nothing. Who's here? No one. Good for you. I think it's safe. Okay, Chloe. Let's get out of here. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Shoo. Wait, turn around. They're coming. To find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. Go, 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 go. Safe. It just sounds like the half of the house is painted. Shoo. Oh, that's a cute scene. Oh, and I see her natural hair color, Chloe's natural hair color coming back in. Yeah, let's take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel and pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. 
Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. So I out from last night, but it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. So last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Yeah, all right, let's get up. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Oh. Oh. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Hmm. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Hmm. Yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. There we go. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Nice. Chloe put my pick on her phone. I must have proved I was worthy again. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Hmm. Huh. Yes, but sadly we're not caged anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross. As you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Uh -oh. If you want, go ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. Ooh. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Well, since you asked for it. Boom! You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. I would make a comment, but nah, too easy. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. There we go.
looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? All right. Is there any photos I can do here? Looks like I do a photo myself. Hmm. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Not gonna comment on that. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Aha! Uh -huh. Hold on, let me take a selfie. Oh, there's the bird. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. So, can I take a picture of it? Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. All right, here we go. Hmm. Let's see, where would the... Because if it's not the blue jay in the house, then it has to be... I wonder how these birds died. That's not a good thing. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Here we go. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Oh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. You fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Nothing wrong with classic pancakes. I'm Especially with bacon. Bacon pancakes. 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 You ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab the from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Sounds like an egg, egg still in plan. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Now where's the milk at? Ah, oh, there's the milk. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. 
I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Hmm. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Hmm. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Hmm. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. All right, time to have some bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes, bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes, bacon pancakes. So I had to get that on my system. What the? Is that? There's another bird up there. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Oh, that must be the bird for the photo. <laughs> Is it already one o'clock? No, that's what I call pancakes. But no bacon. For this, I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, seeing you again ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit.
No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Hmm. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Okay, 2001. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It might be a useful password. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. Hmm. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Huh? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. So many passwords. Thing to see here. Maybe corn dog. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. It might be a useful password. Hmm. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's try this one. Such wrong. It's not that one. <sighs> try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. Okay, let's try Army. Magic 8-Ball says no. Oh, wrong one. Back. This one. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. How's it free? Oh. Step douche. Let's go all the way back. There we go. So now I should have three chances. Okay. Worst hacker ever. There we go. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But 
Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, the bird's gone. Oh, well. Uh oh. Nice breakfast. You, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Uh-oh. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now. Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Yeah, we're gonna start with Chloe on this one. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Well, he did put himself in. Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Uh, you kind of did that on your own, buddy. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Exactly. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I won't. Listen. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. 
Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack and distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Hmm? Huh? This is so creepy. Yeah, and not a good sign. today don't ask first the snow then an eclipse what's next the tornado um i hope not could be worse we could get one of those california quakes true well i'm feeling a little dizzy now um, hope you catch the big one today i better too late to switch careers now be around kid Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money with a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Old town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Hell, even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Well, somebody's, um... Uh... Here we go. Oh, I see. Going back a bit more. There we go. Hey, how Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? I took a Blackwell class on the history of truckers. I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell student with brains. Next time I get a local job, I'll let you ride along. Take care. There we go. Now I can take a picture. Hey, no photo, girl. Do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Oh, that's sad right there. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Hmm. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. 
Have you seen him around? I saw him today. Looking more jumpy than usual. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you would like to tell me what you're hiding. Yeah, why not? I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Hmm. What would be the point around here? Oh. So ominous. Huh. I have to come back later. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Uh oh. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You should have jumped, ass wipe. What the? Shit. What are the other signs then? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe. Playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Hmm. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, right, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Hmm. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. All right. There she. Thanks, Af. I'm glad. Here we go. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. 
Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Can't drop any tunes right now. The keys. Oh, come on. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweet bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Hmm. Huh. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Here we go. And there we go. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Hmm. What's going on over here? That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedor, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia Bay. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be is this global warming what is causing all of this crazy weather. Time paradox. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. He was just a natural beauty, you know. Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take the keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Later. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. Now back to Chloe. There we go. My work here is done here, Frank. Maybe that truck is gone? Oh, hang on. Alyssa, watch out. Quick thinking, Max.
Okay. Dang it, he's not. Mm. Can't chat now. Gotta focus on the fish. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Ah, uh, throw in the pocket line. Not gonna throw it on the road. Hit the treat, treat, boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yeah, guess that's not a photo bomb. A photo. <laughs> Alright, anyway, here we go. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay. Can't quite you still picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging free. out. Frank must have a reason to keep a police. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Hmm. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Crappy wife out here. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. You mean like a big knife? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. This is almost as good as a set of keys. And good in case you need to do stabby stabby. My blade will open any portal. Hello. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Hmm. And close that. There we go. Here we go. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Uh oh. Chloe.
Whoa. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. Gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Mm. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh boy. No kiss goodbye. And there are a lot of dead birds, which is not a good sign. Now what? What the? Oh my god. What is happening now? Wait, what? Are her powers changing again? I mean, first we were able to pause time for a moment. Are we able to go further back in time? Oh, that cannot be good. Oh boy. Whoa. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. Oh, what is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crap. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Okay, I have to take this for a moment. Because something tells me. That this might be the start. Because here's what I'm thinking so far. 
And essentially when she discovered her time powers, that's when things started to, you know, become out of place. You know, the snowstorm, the eclipse, and now the dead birds around. I think that that is, that that is tied into her powers. Because, like all other games that involve time travel, there's always a price and even more trouble when you mess with time. I mean, it's like, perfect example is like Ash and Kush, Kush's film, The Butterfly Effect. That's a perfect example, actually. In which he tried to go back in time to make things better for him and his girlfriend, but it just makes matters worse. And... I have a bad feeling what we are about to try and do, which would be preventing Chloe's father, William, from leaving the house or not taking the car. I have a feeling that that is the... What? That's, that's going to cause a lot of problems because there's going to be a lot of time paradoxes. Kind of like in the Soul Reaver 2 when Kane mentions of how basically the original time path has been blocked and now shifts in order to resh reshuffle itself to find its old path blocked, basically. I'll get more onto that after this episode, but... Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and pop And video games! Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. I see where she got inspiration. Hey honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work. That's a work. cool snow dough. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. What a mess we made. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. A butterfly. Aha. You can't hide from me for Okay. That's where the keys are. That's not going to work. Just to make sure. Whoosh. Hello? Yeah, I think I made the right choice. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. But it comes every 15 minutes. Oh boy, I mean... You and your joys and your groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. 
I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am uh -oh. awesome. We are awesome. Here comes the time shifts. Okay. So far so good. Okay. Makes me wonder what's gonna happen though. Uh, ooh. Keys to a truck. So what's gonna happen now? What the? Wait, we're friends with them? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. wet and cold every day. But Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? What the heck? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Ward. Okay, how did that happen? You hooked up with Stella? Hmm. Oh, no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Yeah, what happened to her? Okay, we changed his future as well. Uh, I was afraid it's because... Like I said, it's kind of like, um... Not gonna use the butterfly effect, but it's like, uh... The DC movie Flashpoint, when Flash went back in time to save his mother. It caused a time boom, which the ripples of that change caused everything else to change. So I'm afraid that when we went back in time and saved William, it caused this whole change to happen. I mean, yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's a good thing, you know, trying to save somebody, you know, from dying or whatnot. But you have to think, though, what are the consequences of doing that action? Did you actually truly save somebody, or did you introduce something far worse than originally planned? Is that a whale? Now there are dead whales on the beach, so that problem's not fixed. Again, this is not good. I have a feeling that our time powers are causing paradox, par paradox re ripples. And the house is painted blue completely. Wait, since when was there a ramp on the house? That wasn't there before. I really got a bad feeling about this. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! 
You have a visitor. And given him from a horrific expression, oh. We just made matters far worse. Because since we prevented William's death from the car wreck, the paradox change transferred over to Chloe, so she probably got into a car wreck with her truck and ended up in that state. And who says time travel is easy? <sighs> okay, yeah, chaos really, com completely. Alright, wh okay. So let's see, you stole the money, you kissed Chloe, a lot of people did that, you sided with Chloe, you kept them safe, which is good, Chloe has the gun, okay, so what's next, Lisa is alive, you helped warm with his exam, you're on the fourth test plug list, Huh, I didn't even know about the cops answering. You have police. You warned the na na na. How was I supposed to take the photo in the past? Hmm. Alright, whoop. Uh oh. I hope that this paradox changes doesn't make us the victim like Kate. Alright, well, whew. that was a major twist in plot. Makes me wonder what's going to happen now, but that's going to have to wait till next time. So I'm going to end the episode here, and hopefully you guys will stay tuned for the next one. And whew. trying to collect myself here for a minute. <sighs> okay, in any case. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've been enjoying this as much as I have. And as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update. Share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.